talk to the guys around this team. I mean, you talk about leadership. I mean, Willie Adamas is the guy that we point to because of his energy. Brett Anderson, the guy pitches like his hair's on fire, <laughs> and he would love to secure a series sweep here this afternoon, partner. Yeah, I'd like to get some ground balls. I mean, uh, he, he was a loser his last time out. That was against the Nationals at home. Five and a third, five hits, three runs in a four to one Brewers loss in that game, making start number four against Cincinnati this year. And the Reds have runners at the corners for Joey Votto with one man out. Votto, center field. Bradley known for his range not his arm tag at third fire in India slides in safely sack fly RBI Votto's team leading 82nd ribby and the Reds lead it one to nothing Sonny Gray on a sunny day in Milwaukee Wisconsin and he's only made 19 starts he's had three different injuries a back problem a groin problem and a rib cage strain so and Sonny Gray just getting back at it. I mean, he's won his last three decisions, and that covers the last five starts. Look at the run on that. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That brings up Abaseo Garcia. Throw down. Tag is there. Wong dead to rights. India on the spot. And Stevenson with the dynamite dime. It's two strikes on Luis Urias. Swing and a miss, strike three. Sonny Gray has faced the minimum. One ball and two strikes on Sonny Gray. Sonny Gray rolls one up the middle. Going to be a tough play here. Jump throw by Wong and out at first. Wow. Gray is really fast. And almost beat that out. And Reds want to take a look at this. Pretty good jump throw by Colton Wong. Got as much on it as he could. But it does look like he was just a touch late. That'll be overturned. Sonny Gray with an infield hit. Sonny Gray, who has only seen one man reach. Beautiful pitch from Gray as he paints and strikes out Peterson. Yeah, Peterson looking fast, uh, looking for the breaking pitch right there. Thought maybe that break, breaking pitch would come down low and then break right down out of the strike zone. Instead, it was a fastball. And now the pitcher, Brett Anderson. Strike three. How does a hitter, let alone a pitcher hitting, prepare for a grazing 77 followed by 93 that does that there? The athletic training staff now comes out. And he's down on the ground stretching his leg out. That's what put him on the injury list. But he's staying in the game. He's got to go back to the top of the order and Colton Wong. Routine for Naquin. Three scoreless in the books for right hander Sonny Gray. I'm sure he'll get a little treatment when he heads into the dugout. One nothing Cincinnati. Brewers going after a sweep today of the Reds. A swing and a miss. Castellanos chased one. Anderson with a strikeout. His second. That's how the fourth inning starts. Telez standing there, bat on shoulder, waiting. Gray's pitch. Strike three called. Got him looking with a fastball right at the top of the zone. He locks up Telez. Gray with his fifth strikeout today. This is the reigning player of the week of the National League right here. Tyler Naquin is riding a 14 game hit streak. A little tapper to play Anderson flips it out of his glove and it hits Naquin. Telez loses his glove flung up into Naquin's hip that takes Telez's glove off his hand. To help stretch the longest active hit streak. In Major League Baseball, make it a career high 15 in a row. Boy, Anderson does not look good here. He was not running after that ball well. Some tight hamstrings there. That's it. He's out. Another exit for Brett Anderson. He just cannot stay on the mound. Right hip tightness, the Brewers Clubhouse said for Brett Anderson. Hunter Strickland is on. Jonathan India has singled and scored in the game's only run. India rocket to right. Wow. Home run. Jonathan India gets that bullpen up. And his 17th homer of the season has the Reds ahead four to nothing. This kid is unbelievable. Nick Castellanos leads it off. He'll face new pitcher Brent Suda. And hit by Nick Castellanos. A line drive to left. 
It slams off that recess wall. His second homer in as many days. And a 5 nothing Reds edge. And the Reds are in all their glory today. Great pitching by Sonny Gray and big time offense here. Bases loaded, two outs. Rowdy Telez, the batter. Breaking ball pounded into the ground. Devato. Two hops. He's got it. Underhands to Gray at the bag. 3 1 side retired, and the Brewers leave them loaded. Reds will go to the bullpen for the first time here this afternoon as they bring on right hander Tony Santion. He'll get Luis Urias. Urias sends one deep into left center, and this is going to fly. A home run for Luis Urias. And it didn't take long to get to that bullpen. Number 17 for Urias. And the Brewers are on the board here in the seventh. You know, one out and runners at first and second. Wong, a 330 hitter against lefties this season. Back for the 1 1. Ground ball should be two. Barrero steps on the back, throws Devato, inning over. Nice job by Justin Wilson as he comes on and just flat shuts down the Brewer rally. Brewers down to the last two out. Peterson. Little flare that's going to fall for a base hit. Well placed. Jace Peterson is on with a one out single. Yeah, first hit of the day for Jace. He didn't walk his last time up. Jackie Bradley Jr. with a runner on and one out. You got Peterson's got second. Caught of the fly. Barrera lunging tag. Out of the baseline. Out of the baseline. Yes. Great Council is out. He is upset. The Reds bench is emptying to exchange hugs because the game's over. Great Council claims he's not out of the baseline, but the call of the field out of the baseline, evading the simultaneous catch and diving tag try from Barrero, and a double play to end the game and end the series with a 5-1 Reds win.